What's going on YouTube? So it's Paul and uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the taser and the car. Uh, as you can see, I'm in my garage because it's like uh, 20 degrees outside right now. It's freaking freezing cold. Um, I don't know, I just watched uh, Ryan's from Ryan Styles video of him in Hawaii. So I hate you Ryan because it is damn cold out here. Uh, that's where I'm wearing my beanie cap uh, today. Um, but with all that being said, um, I wanted to uh, talk about the taser. So at the end of the video, we're going to go inside the car and uh, I'll show you guys how to correct those. But first and foremost, uh, I owe a couple of guys a huge shout out. Um, MG, Mike from MDG Collections. Say that five times fast. MDG Collections, MDG Collections, MDG. Co it's pretty hard. Um, so awesome guy. Awesome channel. Um, Mike, I can't thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome, you know, that you were, uh, that you took time out of your busy schedule, uh, spent time with your family and, and was able to walk me through the whole process. Uh, we hooked up on Instagram and guys keep it clean. Not that kind of hookup. Um, but we started messaging each other back and forth and he was able to walk me through the whole process of how to clear the service airbag code on the car and what I needed to do um, to get the taser, you know, corrected and all that kind of stuff. The problem is corrected. So Mike, thank you very much. I do want him an apology. He doesn't have a scat pack. He's got a Daytona 392. So Mike, I apologize. I owe you a cold one. Um, and maybe next time when we hook up, uh, maybe we'll go out and we'll, we'll celebrate or something. But uh, uh, again, thank you, Mike. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I don't know how to link channels in the description below. Um, progress peaked at Frozen Pizza for me. So if you guys remember what movie that came from, leave a comment below. Um, I was born in the 70s, so, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not very tech savvy. Um, I can upload a video pretty quickly, but uh, other than that, I don't really have a whole lot of knowledge. Um, but uh, definitely check out Mike's channel. Uh, he does have Santa Claus driving his car, so, you know, he's got some cool content if he's letting Santa Claus drive his car. But uh, great guy. He's got a lot of information on the Taser. He's done a lot of videos on the Taser with uh, the software updates and everything else like that. And then he's just got some great videos on uh, knowledge of the car and all that kind of good stuff. So definitely check out his channel, great guy. Um, and you know, I, I definitely appreciate him for that. Uh, the other guy is uh, Jeremy's Black Hemi. Um, that's his YouTube channel. Uh, he doesn't live very far from here. Um, so we definitely need to hook up Jeremy. Uh, but he's got a black RT um, and he's doing a blackout uh, on his car. Uh, so it looks awesome. But he also left a comment and kind of explained the whole process of how to clear, uh, you know, the code for for the car. So I definitely owe those two guys, uh, you know, a big thanks. And I wanted to give them a quick shout out because, um, you know, anybody that can, you know, kind of help you out and talk you through everything, you know, it's just absolutely awesome. Um, so thank you guys. I greatly appreciate it. The a couple other things I wanted to cover real quick. Um, um, on the cars and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, I, you know, I got a couple of buddies that just recently got a, um, a charger and one got a challenger. Um, they asked me, you know, what mod should I do? Um, and you know, I kind of talked to them of what, what I've done to my car and everything else. Like now I haven't done a whole lot to this car. I don't really need to do a whole lot to this car cause I kind of really like the way it looks as it is. But you know, I've done some visual mods to the car. I don't spend a whole lot of money um, because I do live on a budget. My wife tells me how much I can spend. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now, um, if your wife controls the budget in the house, she's the one that wears the, the pants in the family. My wife controls the budget in the house and basically tells me how much I have to spend. So she wears the pants in the family. Um, but with all that being said, I, I don't spend a whole lot of money on, on mods and, you know, because of my budget. Um, I'll fit things in here and there. And I know most of you guys are like that. Uh, so these questions I get asked a lot of times, I tell them, well, how much do you want to spend? You know, um, you know, I've done some of the visual mods. Um, I, I guess if you want to say the only performance mod I've done is probably the taser or the well catch can, if you want to consider those performances or not. So, I mean, grand total, I've probably spent less than $600 so far on the car. Um, and the seven or eight months that I've had it. So, you know, you, you got to figure out where your budget is and what you want to spend and then go from there. Now, I'm not that guy that's going to go out and buy brand new tires 
to get wider tires on the car. So I put wheel spacers on. Um, you know, I went in and, hey, you know, I'm not going to spend the money to uh, put the lettering on the car if I don't like the way it looks. So I went and spent $9 or $10 on the white lettering on the tires, um, which most of it's actually coming off now. So, uh, but with all that being said, I like the way that looks. So I will go out and probably spend the hundred dollars when it's in my budget to go ahead and get the lettering for the tires. Um, you know, I spent a hundred dollars to buy the grill. So the stuff that I, I do is definitely within my budget. Um, and I tell guys, if you want to do the vinyl badging, go do the vinyl badging. Here's the company that I used. I have no problems with guys who take my ideas um, and use it for their own cars. I have, and I know most of us are like that. We just don't care. And a lot of us, there's a lot of guys out there that have Mopars and we've probably taken ideas from off of them. I get a lot of ideas from, you know, doing stuff to my car from, you know, my uh, Mopar brothers out there. So guys, it really doesn't matter what you do to your car. If you want to lift it up and jack it up and put mud tires on there, lift it up, jack it up and put mud tires on there. If you want to, um, you know, uh, um, put a big wing on the back of it, put a big wing on the back of it. It's your car. You do whatever you want to. Uh, I've chosen my path, uh, and as Ryan and Riding in Style would say, he's chosen his to make his a journey, and he's you know progressing as he goes along. You know, he just did the engine dress up on his car with, with the stuff from Billet Technology. He's done the PCM and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, he's gotten new rims and tires. I know he's got a new nose piece for his car, except for I think he's got to get it fixed before he puts it on there. Um, but you know, it's a journey and, and it's all kind of about the anticipation as well. If you think about it, you know, as you're waiting for it to come in, you're kind of getting excited about it. You're like, Hey, I got a new mod. I'm gonna put this on the car. I'm gonna see how it works and, you know, test it out and everything else like that. So, uh, I've chose, you know, my path, uh, you choose your path and however you decide you want to do it. And I tell everybody that, you know, it's all about your, your budget and it's all about what you want to do to your car. So it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. So I think most of you guys would agree with that, but I just wanted to kind of put that out there to everybody, especially for guys that don't have channels or anything else like that. It's whatever you want to do. So uh, again, guys, I greatly appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and get into the car and we're going to go over the, uh, the taser, uh, the fix on the taser. But again, guys, I definitely appreciate it and I will catch you on the next video. All right, guys. So I'm, I went ahead and I'm, I'm putting the car in the run position. As you can see here in a second, the service airbag light or the airbag light will go off. So um, everything is corrected. I actually got my phone kind of propped up on the steering wheel here. Hopefully it doesn't fall off and it does. I apologize. I still have the taser actually installed on the car. So we'll go back to audio here and you know, you're going to hit your arrow that is pointing to the left and the cancel button all at the same time I just usually hold it down for a couple of seconds and then I release and then uh, the taser actually starts loading up so there's the light show Duh. now I don't know what everything else means I know that clears all your codes uh, I don't know what everything else means unmarry uh, sport 5 no I took and I just put no on there sport yes uh, SRT settings, no. That was part of the issue of why the um, service airbag was coming on. So I actually um, took that off of there. Uh, performance sets, yes. I think that has to do with uh, loading the performance pages. And guys, I'm not 100% positive, so if I'm wrong, you know what? It is what it is. Just leave a comment below and correct me, and we'll, uh, we'll figure everything out. Uh, paddles, yes, I do have paddle shifters. Uh, I don't know what that actually is. I just know it's base. Uh, tire pressures, let's see here. Uh, uh, DRL drop, yes, I have no idea what that is. Uh, DRL type US, I have no idea what that is. I just left it US because I live in the US. DRL location, none. I have, again, have no idea. Uh, what is that? Fog engine, yes. Uh, fog drop, yes. Uh, belt ding, you know, that's if you want to turn off your, your seat belt dinging. Easy access, uh, easy exit. That's, guys, that actually all that does is move your seat back and forth, you know, when you get in and out of the car. Uh, so it's actually pretty. Pretty neat little feature, but you can get that from your performance pages. 
uh, steering wheel, NA, uh, cam grid, which is your camera grid on your rear view camera, DVD, CD. I don't have a DVD or CD player in the car, so that's still a no. Uh, STP engine, yes. Uh, driver mode, none. I took the driver mode off. Uh, driver trans, uh, shift light. I don't need a shift light. Uh, splash screen. This is the other one, guys, where you'll actually put this back to none, especially if you don't have a Hellcat or a Scat Pack or anything else like that. So mine is actually set to none. Um, so with all that being said, that's pretty basic, guys. Uh, there's really nothing to it. And then if you go to the performance uh, performance screen, fuel economy, uh, everything is still loaded up. And it still saves your best times, quarter mile times, your G-forces, um, lap consistency. Oh, and my top speed was in Australia. Um, I didn't make it to Mexico. I made it to Australia. So, and then when you load everything up, this is what your performance screen will look like. So, again, um, pretty basic stuff, guys. Uh... And then when you come here, when you load the performance pages up, it actually brings up an RT car instead of uh, like a Scat Pack or a Hellcat or whatever it is. It actually shows an RT. Um, so you can do whatever view you want. If you want the ass end, or if you want the front end. So there you guys go. Uh, sorry for the long video, but uh, I greatly appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. Uh, if you guys uh, have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, feel free to, to uh, watch uh, Mike from MDG Collections videos. He's got some great information on the Taser. Um, Jeremy Black Enemy uh, definitely got some uh, information for you too as well. So I will catch you guys on the next video. Talk to you later.